Let me, let me ask you a question on that really quick. Um, why do you think athletes care where they sit on the leaderboard? If like, let's say, let's say you were coaching me and it's like, Hey, Sam, I want to make it to the games. And we, we come up with this plan, right? And it's like, you know, we're, we're having a consultation a month out and you're like, Hey, this is the deal, right? We're going to do the open. We're going to do it one time. I'm 100% certain that you're going to end up in the top 10% because you know, I'm super fit. Um, so it's like, okay, we're going to, that, that's the goal. We're going to end up in top 10%, but we need to prepare for the semifinals. And it's like, we agree on that. And when that leaderboard comes out, like you say, like you said, it's like, oh my gosh, I'm 125th. I want to be top 25. Why do you think athletes care to be top 25 if it actually means nothing? Where, where do you think that comes from? Yeah, that's, uh, you're describing Christine. Hopefully she watches this after week one. Uh, and Christine, she came 16th to the games last year. Christine Best is one of our athletes and very, very good. Very good open competitor. That's like her jam. But every year she re she does every workout twice, and she's very good at learning from the first attempt, and she always does better the second. It blows my mind because it's, it's always two days later. It's not three days later. It's like she does it on a Friday, then Sunday she would redo it and just demolish what she did. Um, and, of course, this year it's so different because – you only need to do it once. And that was the intent was we'll do it once. And then we have all this training we have to do for the quarterfinals and then the semifinals. Um, and lo and behold, after week one, she does it and she had a great time, but she's seeing girls in the leaderboard. Then she's seen them redo it. And she's getting very frustrated. Like I can do so much better. I can be higher up. I can't believe I'm at this place. And I'm like, it's all right. It's, it's just your ego. Like, that's all it is. You don't get anything. It's just that you need to feel like you're better than, than you think you are. But you really are. Like, you are you are on par with these girls who finished 30th in the workout. But we don't need to redo it. We need to keep the vision down the road. And that's, I think that's the the competitive side in people who are true athletes. Like, because you know, and so do you, that when when you're in your sport and you're in your um, competitive atmosphere, everything changes because you want to prove to yourself that you're better than you think you are. You want to prove to your coaches, your friends, your family. Like there's that huge element of um, proving something that's in sport. And I think that's why people get into sport to some degree is like they're trying to prove something about themselves. And so when you have that leaderboard for everyone to see, because it's there and it's permanent, then you start to like, well, I, if I if I have the opportunity to move that forward, then by all means I should do that. So then people see me even better than I am, um, and so that's tough. That takes a lot of maturity. It takes a lot of connection to well, what's my real focus, what's my real goal. Which like for Christine, it's to go to the games again, and she ended up coming thirtieth in the open, which was great. Uh, and she was content with that. She didn't redo any workouts, which was the first time, I think, since she started doing the Open, she didn't redo any of them. And I was thinking, yeah, you came 30th, and you didn't redo any of them. Like, we could have redone them, and maybe you came top 15. But what was, what's the added value? Like, your ego in the short term, the long term, maybe you went to the well a little bit too much, and now you can't go to the well at the quarterfinals or at the semifinals, and now you can't go to the games. So... That's tough, and that's, um, you know, it's helpful being a former athlete, and, and even though my sport wasn't, like, physically demanding, but those attributes are those um, characteristics of really connecting to the outcome and, and making sure you're, uh, you're appeasing yourself and those around you, something that I could connect to, so it's easier to have a discussion with my clients on that in these circumstances. Um, but, yeah, it's just fun uh, experiences coaching.